What's up guys, it's Ben Bonk and welcome to another video. And so in this, this is part 3 of our uh, Unity puzzle sliding game, we are going to go over some polish for our game, which is going to be some like screen shake, some uh, particle explosions, and just some overall animations, just to make our game feel a little bit more uh, live. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our win thing, uh, which is going to be a thing that we go into we win. I'm just going to add an animation right on it, hit add component and animation. So now I'm gonna go into make our assets folder and let's create a new folder called, uh, let's call it animations. And let's double click on here and do right click, create animation. And now we can call this just when anim for short. And now we have an animation. So now what we are going to do is gonna select our win thing. We are going to drag our win anim onto the animation clip they're going to open up this part, set the size to 1, press enter, and drag it in again. I'm not the best at animating, so I'll try to, uh, if there's any mistakes I make, I'll, uh, if anyone could you know, correct me in the comments, that'd be great, but uh, I'll try my best to explain it, but I'm really a uh, little bit inexperienced in this topic, but I still know the basics. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on my animation. I'm going to click on the animation tab, and if you don't have the animation tab, you can just go to window, and it should be an animation and just do uh, animation or you can just hit control six and typically it will be up like here but just for animation i like to drag it down where the console is just so i can see it a little bit better so now what i'm going to do is going to select my win thing while i'm in the animation tab and now we have our animation timeline i'm not going to set this video to explaining this but we're just going to make a really simple animation so what I want to do is kind of just make a super simple kind of spinning around animation so you kind of know what you kind of want to get there. And so the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure we're selected on our win anim. I'm going to press the record button. And I'm just going to get our rotate tool. And I'm just going to rotate this around as much as possible. And just so it makes a nice fluid kind of animation. And let's just rotate this a bit more. And I'm kind of rotating just so I can see until it reaches around negative 360 over here. And so just about when it gets here, I'm going to stop it, plus record again. And now we kind of have a super fast uh, spinning animation. And that's pretty decent for our purposes right now. It's really simple to make. And you might have some trouble, just you know, make sure you want to go in the rotate tool and just spin it all the way around until you get to around negative 360. There might be a more uh, efficient way to do this, but I just uh, do this for the time being. And then if we want to make our animations, like as of now, when we hit play, our animation is kind of fast. You can't really see it. And so I'm going to go into the samples. I should be able to change this to something like 30, hit play, and it's a little bit slower. And even now, as you can see, it kind of plays our animation, stops and like replays it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here press record and maybe make it like a little bit over tilt a little bit to the right oops hit stop recording and now it should be a little bit better i'm just gonna adjust that a tiny bit just so it's a little bit more fluid and now it should just be kind of you know hopefully with a bunch of tweaking if you already know to use the unity animation system this might be a lot smoother for you but yeah there you go it looks pretty smooth now Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit faster, maybe up to 40 samples, press enter, and yeah, I think it looks pretty good, maybe 35 samples is good for me, and I'll say that's good for now. So now that this is on, I'm just going to control Z that, now that we have our animation, we're going to go and click on our animation, go to these three lines, and then hit debug, and we're going to select legacy, check mark. Go back to these three lines and then hit normal. Now we're going to change the wrap mode to loop. So now it will be looping over and over. So now when we play our an when we hit play, our animation should be playing right away. As you can see, it's kind of spinning, so it kind of makes it a little bit known that we want to get right there our animation. And so it's you can change around the speed to whatever you want really. But um yeah, that's pretty much good for now. Next thing I think we are going to do is we should be able to add in our um, should be able to add in our uh, spikes kind of particles. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in the hierarchy, 
I'm going to go to effects and particle system. So now we have a particle system. Um, I'm going to hit stop right here. And particle systems are kind of like their own mechanic for the uh, for themselves. I'm just going to get my uh, built-in particle systems here. So I can just kind of copy off that just so I know exact settings. Because it would take a really long time to make your own custom particle system. Which basically is... You can do all kinds of things, and it just plays a kind of um, thing. I'm not going to really go over this, but we're going to uncheck. We're going to go to our duration. It's about 0.2 seconds. Uncheck looping. We're not going to do any start delay. Our start lifetime is going to be around 0.2 also. Our start speed, we're probably going to boost that up to around 13. And our start size, let's put that down to about 0.2. Also, we're going to keep all this rotation at zero. You can turn on the color if you want. If you want to make it red or something, you can. And then moving on to gravity modifier and that stuff, we're not going to change around any of this stuff. Make sure plan awake is checked. If you don't have that checked, you'll have some problems instantiating it. We keep that the same. Head down to emission, and this is how many like, particles get spewed out at a time. And we want more than, uh, you know, 10. So we're going to change that around on 130, 130, and that should be good for now. Our shape, we're going to make sure when the, this is kind of how our particles spew out. As you can see right now, it's a, kind of a cone. Which can be kind of cool, but then we'd have to mess around with rotation and that sort. So I'm just going to make, um, change this about like sphere and keep all this stuff the same. And that's all I'm really going to do there. Finally, in the renderer, I don't want to keep it at these kind of, you can see they're kind of, if you go into your game view or if you kind of zoom in, they're kind of just blurry, fuzzy particles. And, um, I'm going to change this material in the renderer tab to the sprites default thing. If you don't have that, you can also just do the pixel probably and like change up the size and stuff. So now these are just kind of big things. I'm actually going to change the start lifetime to about like 0.12 or something. So they're a bit like a big blast that knows that you, you're dead and that kind of stuff. So now that's a good particle system. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to actually have to make a copy of this or basically prefabbing it. So we're going to make another folder called prefabs. And prefabs are also kind of a more advanced thing. Not really advanced, I should say, but... um. But basically making that copy of a thing so when i make a prefab something i can like drag in a bunch of these and i can just have a bunch of different copies of them and like same things with all the same properties and you can use them to instantiate or like make a copy of and that's what they're mainly used for um so now we're going to i guess head into our scripts and we're going to go into our spikes folder i guess and so yeah now in our spikes folder once this loads up my visual studios in a little bit popped up my other screen i want to make a few new variables these variables are going to just be for basically uh, our spikes location our particle system and a camera shake but i'll get into camera shake in a second and uh, something about that so public particle system and we're going to make sure this particle system and we're going to call this ps so this is basically unity's way of rendering a particle system we're just going to call this ps because it's stored for particle system then we're going to make a public game object called spikes and we're just going to use this game object to tell like where we want to instantiate our object finally we're going to make a public cam camera shake or, or well i already made the camera shake prior but camera shake called shake or whatever and the thing is i'm not going to totally go over our camera shake in this video because i've learned my camera shake method from a kind of method of another tutorial and i will leave a link in that uh for the description but i'm not going to go over it in this tutorial but if you do want to do it i'll show you how to do that and so if you do want a camera shake we can look really really cool uh, i'll leave a link in the description because there's this guy and he makes some really good uh tutorials Pretty sure his name is Renaissance Coders, and yeah, it's really simple code. So now what we are going to do, I'm going to go and instantiate, which basically makes a copy of something. So we're going to instantiate our particle system, and it's going to basically when you instantiate something, it's asked for three things. And in these three things, first one is going to be what we want to instantiate. So we want to instantiate our particle system, which we're going to assign in the inspector. And the second thing it's going to ask for is where do you want to instantiate it? And so we're just going to say transform.position or spikes.transform.position. So we're going to transform it where our spikes are. And then finally, we're going to do our camera, or not, well, we're going to, and then finally, well, in instantiate, it's going to ask uh, what rotation do you want on it? And so we're just going to say, just, you know, whatever rotation it is. And so anyway, we're going to say PS, comma, so we know we want to instantiate our particle system. After I say, we're going to say 
spikes dot trans not pikes spikes dot transform dot position i'm going to say quaternion dot identity and this is just going to say like whatever rotation is on the game object i'm pretty sure it should be something like that but usually rotation is not a matter for these kind of sorts and then after that if we want to do our camera shake if you already have followed that tutorial and made a camera shake you can say camera shake uh dot should shake is equal to true and this will just start our camera shake but again if i if you want to see the camera shake and kind of show you right now i go back into unity create a new c sharp script called cam shake something like that open that up here's kind of what the code looks like for the camera shake and or not that that's the wrong code uh oops here's what the kind of code looks for the camera shake it's kind of just like you know it's it's basically getting like the i don't really know how to explain it too well but it's getting like a random like location times it by power it's kind of stuff i i can't re can't really tell you too much about it i try to understand things but this one is a little bit foggy for me and so yeah if you did make your camera shake following the tutorial it should look something like this and we can go back in our spikes and k camera shake or actually not camera shake but shake that should shake is equal to true and so that's basically what we're going to do for there and assign it an inspector and that's really going to be all for our spikes i'm pretty sure and then after that we can just get rid of this comment that i made you don't really need to make those go back into our unity project now we're going to go on our, sp our spikes and it should be um did i save this i might have forgot to save this I forgot to save this Control s and Control s Go back in our Unity project, give it a second to compile things. Now it's going to ask for a particle system, which we're going to drag in. Actually, we're going to go into our prefab folder and, oops, click spikes, drag that in. And then our spikes, we're going to drag in. Kind of, We're also going to prefab this, I guess. Prefab that, and then just go in our spikes. We're going to drag in our spikes, and then shake. We are going to drag in our camera shake. If you did make it, just add it to the tutorial, or uh, shake, what did I call it? Cam shake, or I can just drag it in like that, cannot be found, okay, oh yeah, I think I, I know what I did wrong, sorry about this, but I just need to change this to cam shake, a little bit of my fault, but um, basically when you have something, you call it cam shake and name it camera shake, Kind of gets a bit iffy in Unity, and Unity doesn't like that. As you can see, how it says cam shake and cam shake. Not sure why this is really working, but if it's not, then uh, we should just leave it like that, and it should be just fine for now. Add. Uh, let's see. I'm. I'm. This seems like I'm missing like some kind of assembly reference. I really don't want to like spend too long on this. So you see, if you have an error, you can just double click on it. It says camera shake shake it's actually going to be cam shake sorry about this and um yeah now finally should add to our thing <laughs> um cam shake and as you can see you can change around your power if you did do the tutorial if you don't you can totally ignore this drag on our camera just duration like 0.2 whatever and now once we have that we can drag into our spikes. We can drag in our main camera, and that's just for our camera shake. Then, if you ha if you're directing on the thing, we're gonna overrides and apply. And it just is, if you might if you're not using Unity 2019. You should just see an apply button. Just make sure to hit that. So now, when you go in here, there should be able to go up, or actually just straight in. Oops. Looks like my unit is being a little bit weird. We should be able to just. Go straight in, shakes, plays the particles, and there we go. And it seems like every single time I load, I have my particle system just kind of right here. I can drag that off to the side. And yeah, it works kind of perfectly. Shakes, particle system, and there we go. Nice and smooth. Um, polished, basically. And that's all we're really going to do in this video. And if you did enjoy this video, um, we're going to go over some level design, that kind of stuff, in the next video. And so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.